WJZ Breaking News. A Morgan State student shot on campus. Thankfully, he should be okay. Hello again, I'm Max McGee. And I'm Kelsey Kushner. This happened during a busy night at the school as it's their homecoming weekend. And WJZ is live on campus. Amy Kawada spoke with students following this scary situation. Amy. Kelsey at Maxwell, Morgan State University officials say there's no active threat on campus, though there is still crime scene tape outside the Montebello complex here. They also have confirmed an 18 year old student was injured with non life threatening injuries and is expected to be okay. But some students I spoke with say this is not the way they expected to end this day of celebration. It's just like, why? You know? Why? Morgan State University students and alumni disheartened to learn about a shooting on campus Saturday night. Were we expecting it? No. <clears throat> this is a homecoming. Would you expect that at a wedding? No. Would you expect that at any celebration? Just before 7 p.m., following the university's homecoming activities, Baltimore police say officers responded to the 2300 block of Argonne Drive for a shooting. That's where they found an 18 year old student suffering from a gunshot wound to his chest. Police say the victim was transported to an area hospital and is conscious, alert, and in stable condition. I see somebody going to ambulance truck and it was just crazy. As crime scene tape blocked the entrance to the Montebello complex Saturday evening, in a statement, Morgan State University confirmed the area is secure and there is no active threat to the campus. Baltimore Police Department is actively investigating the incident with Morgan State Police. It's very hurtful because as a community, in the times that we're in, we're supposed to stick together. We're supposed to empower each other. And university officials are asking people to stay clear of this area as this investigation continues. No word on the suspect, but if anyone has any information on this case, you're urged to contact Baltimore Police. Live tonight, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.